Mm. How's the egg McMuffin? Yeah, it's all right. So, um, hash brown's the best part of the meal for me, probably. I agree. I used to, um, when I didn't eat eggs, I used to just, like, go in and order, like, four hash browns. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. And you usually sit in and just get loads of sauces and just, you know. And just reciting our McDonald's order for people. Yeah. Last day today, <clears throat> day six. I got it right this time. It's been a, how's it been? I think it's been really enjoyable to be yeah. fair. Really productive, really proud of what we've, uh, what we've done. Uh, but it's, it, it's felt like it's, um, felt longer than six days, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I feel like yesterday felt like about three days. Yeah, we did. Yeah, but we've got good it? stuff done, man. We do, we've done our best work by by far, yeah. by far. So, um, we've done our best work by far, and yeah, there'll be a, a process, a long process for marketing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But we're just looking forward to getting it out. Down to just the two of us today. Just the two of us. Keep looking back to expect Jamie and. Hi, I'm Jamie. <laughs> No Jamie today, so yeah, just me and Sam finishing off um, guitars and then vocals. Having these as I'm a feeling a little bit under the weather. So we'll see how we go. Jobs are good in. Jobs are good in. <coughs> Wasn't it? Does this happen on every chorus or is it just one particular chorus? Should it just be like the first and yeah, so. <coughs>
acoustics not changing you. properly. Acoustic isn't doing what the bass is doing, is it? I don't uh, think. no. I don't think the other guitars are. Uh, those last two chords are different than the guitars. Just, just goof it. <laughs> Keep it simple. Sam's outfit day six. Also, our distortion pedal. This is our fuzzy pedal. <laughs> Named after your mum. <laughs> Chasing tomorrow, I 
I see fractures The land of the lost forever chasing tomorrow It's fucking awesome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's great, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded really good, man. It sounds really good. I can I can hear it a little bit through yeah. here, but I'm gonna. Yeah, man. <sighs> you what? Got my mouth open. You have your mouth open. I was like. That. Uh, I was angling the video like that. Saw him? Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's it. <laughs> we're, well, we're not. We're not done. We're still not done. We still got to do. A bit, we've yeah. done. Tell people what we've been doing. Well, we finished off the guitars finally after like how many days? Like three, four days, basically. Three days, yeah. Um, uh, needed it, needed it, and we've uh, got all the um, all the lead vocal lines down, and um, sounding great, right? Yeah, it? sounding really good. It's really filled out the song. We've done a bit of restructuring, mm. um, and we've also um, don't do that. Don't do that now. <laughs> I'm joking. It's all right. It's, all right. it's already done. I'm done now. Um, yeah, and then we've got some got some harmony bits down. Mm. It's yeah, it's sounding really good. Um, each, I think each track has really got its own like identity. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably coming so. to its own. Yeah. I think if your producers like getting excited by the mixes and telling them everything's good, then you know you're on to it. Exactly. Yeah. You're on the right path. So it's been it's been a hard it's been hard, man. It's been hard. It's been tiring. It's been you know we've we've had to compromise. We've had to I'd find ways out of problems, but. I think the end result is fucking fantastic. So yeah, me too. Um, I'm looking forward to oh. finishing them off next week. Get some a little bit of vocal finishing touches put on, and then we'll be good to go. Get the final mix down. I'm sat in the driving seat today. Just gonna miss this car. It used to be my car. I last no longer. Uh, it we share and share alike in this band, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, here on camera now at the end of day six, uh, just to talk a bit about like what, well, I guess from the heart about what recording this EP means to me and just writing and making music, playing music in general. Um, yeah, it's my, it's my, um, it's the first EP that I've ever recorded in the studio, um, a lot of the stuff, and I guess the well, I guess the process in general is a, is a bit new to me. I've you know recorded a lot of stuff on demos and stuff at home in the past, some more successful than others. Um, but it's been um, it's been really freeing over the over the sort of course of the past couple of weeks to uh, get to grips with not just recording me and Kyle. At, at home doing demos but um really get used to working with ryan the producer he's great um, and he has a lot of time for me because sometimes i do i'm sure there's pl plenty of footage of me probably getting in my own head and like getting frustrated about not getting parts right or it's not sounding exactly how i want it to sound um but i guess it's also been a process of when i listen back it's all sounded like really good um I think that's probably it's helped alleviate a lot of um anxiety and insecurities about myself as a musician and how capable I am and whether I belong doing this sort of thing because I think that's something I've always thought of I've always dreamed of being a musician or an artist in some sense you know I I, I paint and I write poetry as well but um at, at, at this point I think the the music's really taken over and it's been really good to have that space to actually get really into the music and into the writing process and deepen the co-writing process with um with the rest of the band like collaboratively like obviously each of us have brought 
demos or elements of the songs um, to life. And especially when it's something like a song that you've brought to the band um, or that has been brought to the band by another member, it's really interesting to see how they transform and your ideas become a lot better when you're working with other people it's really nice to see those dreams and visions sort of realized in the studio um and it's been great you know i'm talking to ryan today and he's really excited about this and that that really gets you excited when your producer is excited for the release of the stuff and sees the each track is having its own identity and having its own uh, place but still having continuity and threads and i mean on this ep we're going through quite a lot of different sounds really like with the with the cover cars and girls we've really made that our own it's transformed massively into something new like um i mean at one point we were planning like a a solo uh section in that where um it was going to be a bit more like classic rock and rolly but just in in the studio it just changed to something different with the swells and then some like lead lines over the top of that and it's really become quite airy and spacious and there's just been a lot of like luscious textures building up um and it really makes me believe in what we're doing and our ability to succeed as musicians um and it's just it's really nice to feel like you have being given the time and space to allow your dreams to, I guess, become a reality. Um, and yeah, um, leaving, leaving your ego at the door or, or like your own just total concept of what a song can be and opening it up to everyone else and let, allowing whoever fits the right part to play that part. And yeah, it's been, it's been really good. It's, it's it's been nice to have uh jamie as well to play some some like lead lines as well because obviously before this and when we usually play together it would be at practice or at, at gigs and stuff it's me on the lead uh kyle on the rhythm jamie on the bass tom on the drums and tom's been able to come out and make some lovely piano parts as well not to mention the percussion and the drums it's everyone's really brought a lot from their own sort of from their own like track and roll in the band but then expanded and shown a whole lot more creativity and ability to um i guess really influence the sound in ways that you didn't we didn't think was you know necessarily not necessary not possible but like how it was going to to be and i think we've come out with probably the best finished articles that that we can that really serve the songs so um yeah i'm really proud of it and it's um yeah i'm I, it's me it's making me really hopeful for the future we've got some gigs coming up and i'm i'm really excited to start playing these songs live um for, i guess for the for, for my part with like the guitar lines we've we've done so many layers and textures it's just gonna be a case of me collating all that and being like okay so what do i play in each section now um but i think it's it's going to be cool to see that transition to live as well um and try and get a you know way huge sort of sound um in the live setting but in perhaps in a different way than it's going to sound huge and wide on on record um and like yeah writing some of the solos and then having like then we were like actually let's try reversing that and like it's been really experimental time and i'm just really grateful that i've had this space um like i said to just write and record and i can't wait for you guys to hear it, hear it because yeah i mean we all love it and that's what it's about putting out stuff that you're passionate about um and I, well i don't know if you can tell but i i i am absolutely beaming with passion about this project uh, i can't wait to see where we go in the future along these sorts of lines along other sorts of lines you know um but the dynamics there and the the talent and the and the ears and the yeah just the writing and co-writing ability 
is really, really coming along in leaps and bounds over this week, I think. So, yeah, I guess that's what, what the EP means to me. Um, and, yeah, again, I just can't wait for you guys to hear it.